Hello everyone, today is my last day in Taipei and I'm so incredibly sad, but I figured why not film a challenge video while I'm here. So you guys know that I love to make videos about Taipei. It is one of my favorite cities in the whole world. And so today I thought it might be fun to test my knowledge of all the amazing food in Taipei and take you guys to the best places to get $1 foods. I also like to do cheap eats videos on my channel. So this one is the ultimate cheap eats, only $1. I mean, the only thing less than that is free. And I think that's a little hard. So we're doing $1 foods all day. And for breakfast, I have a spot in mind that is really, really cheap, but it serves up classic Taiwanese breakfast. So let's see what we can get there for $1. Okay, so I just stopped by and got my breakfast, which was only 30 NT, so right at that $1 mark. And so what I have here is a very, very classic, iconic Taiwanese breakfast dish, and it's called Xiaobing Yo Tiao. And basically what it is, is it's a Xiaobing, which is kind of like a flaky flatbread, and it's topped with sesame seeds, and then it's stuffed with Yo Tiao, which is also known as a Chinese donut. So this is very iconic, and usually you pair it with soy milk and you dip it in there, but since I only had a dollar to spend, I just went with this. So this thing is basically carbs on carbs. Like, if you love carbs, how can you go wrong with this? Mm. It is extremely crunchy, extremely flaky. The inside donut is fried to perfection. You can really see that crunch on the Chinese donut. Mm. Mm. Now all I need is some soy milk because this thing is pretty dry when you're just eating it by itself. So really wishing for that soy milk right about now. Okay, so that breakfast really left my throat a little bit dry. So I'm gonna look for some boba. And I know that nearby here, there actually is a boba place that I really like. It is a chain, but in my opinion, it's one of the best boba chains in Taipei. So let's go get some boba. This is a Oh, Here we have our quite sad drink. I thought maybe I could get a milk tea like with no boba for a dollar, but all of those were 40 instead of 30. So for 30, all I could get was a small boba with a green tea. <laughs> so this is our drink of the day. Oh, I wish it was big boba. <laughs> But if you're not doing the dollar challenge and you go to Wushu Lan, which is what this place is called, I really like the green milk tea with normal boba. Okay, so I just got to our third place and this place sells pineapple cakes and they're really, really famous. And once you walk in, they ask if you want to take a seat and they basically just place a plate in front of you that has a pineapple cake and some tea. And it's free 99. So this one, we're not even spending a dollar or 30 NT. It's literally zero NT. And it's really awesome that at this place, they just let you kind of sample their pineapple cake before you decide if you want to buy it. And if you don't want to buy it, then there's no obligation to. So I knew I had to come here during this $1 challenge. Oh, and I'm really, really thirsty because it was a long walk to get here. Hmm. Oh, it's like kind of like a roasted, almost like a roasted rice. And if that's completely wrong, 
then that just shows how much I know about tea, which is very little, I guess. So here's the pineapple cake, and theirs is a rectangle shape. You usually see pineapple cake in a square shape, so that's how you always know that it's Sunny Hills, when it's in that rectangular shape. Mm. The outside is nice and buttery, and I really love how the crust is always so like crumbly too. It's literally kind of like a shortbread cookie on the outside, but more crumbly. And then on the inside, you get the sweet pineapple filling, especially since it's free. It tastes a lot better too. These are actually the perfect pair. The pineapple cake with the tea goes so well together. Mm. Okay, so we just finished having our free pineapple cake at Sunny Hills with tea, and it was actually really good. And it felt almost like Costco samples, except way fancier. So yeah, I have more in store. There's a little mochi stand that has the most amazing mochi for super cheap, so I'm gonna take you guys there right now. Oh my god, I got my mochi! I'm hella happy. I'm super excited. Ah! Okay, where should I eat it? Over here. Okay, so I got one taro, one red bean, and one peanut. If I said everything correctly, that's what I should have gotten. Okay, I'm just gonna try one. I think this one is red bean. Oh my God, it's huge. Mm. Mm. Look at all that delicious red bean filling. And each of these is only 10, so I was allowed to get three, which is so cheap, so chewy. And then the outside is coated in that peanut powder thing. Mm. You guys gotta try this Moji place. One of the cheapest, best things you can find in Taipei, for sure. Okay, so this next stop, I actually found out about it from the BuzzFeed Worth It dumplings episode. This is so cute. I don't know how to describe the it, but it's pleasantly clunk, pleasantly clunk. Okay, the pork butt. They said that they have 50 cent pan fried dumplings. So I'm gonna check this place out and take you guys with me and we can see together if it's as good as the Worth It people make it out to be. Okay, so here we have it, the pan-fried dumpling. And since this is only 50 cents, I was actually able to get a soy milk as well. So the bun is 15 NT and the soy milk is 10 NT. So actually it was 25 NT for these both. We are under budget. So I really wanna try the soy milk because they tried it in the video and they made it seem so good. And I haven't had like life-changing soy milk before. So I wanna see if it's as good as they say. So let's start with this pan-fried bun. I'm scared that it's gonna get cold. So I wanna eat it first when it's fresh. Oh my gosh, look at how beautifully crisp and brown the bottom is. Oh, that's one of my favorite parts of pan fried buns, the crispy bottom. It just makes baos so much better. And I got the pork bun. They have a cabbage one and a chives one, I believe, but I always gotta get the meat, you guys know me. So it looks pretty standard. It does look crispier than other pan fried buns I've seen. And then of course they have the sesame sprinkled on top. And apparently what makes this really good is the dough. I remember watching that Worth It video and I remember them saying that the dough is so QQ, which means chewy. So let's go ahead and see if this lives up to the hype. Mmm. The dough actually does make this bun very special. It is definitely more chewy than other um, pan fried buns that I've had. And the pork is very flavorful, very meaty. It's nothing like super, super special, but yeah, the bun is what really shines at this place. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I'm so shocked because I've eaten a lot of pan fried buns in my life. I thought, you know, what can be so special about this one? But it's actually very, very good. Oh my goodness. Oh, mm. wow. Amazing. All right, I gotta make sure I show you guys the soy milk, also known as doujiang. I'm actually skeptical about this because I've never had like life-changing soy milk. I think it's good like for breakfast as a Taiwanese breakfast thing, but it's not like my favorite thing in the world or anything. Okay, let's see. Ew. 
and actually is very good soy milk. Wow, I like how they keep it nice and cold. It's super refreshing right now. Definitely one of the best dojang I've had because it has that very nutty flavor and it has sweetness as well, but it's not overly sweet. It tastes very like naturally sweet. I'm impressed. You guys have to try it. That's all I have to say. Okay, so you know what I realized just now is that we're in the Gongguan area and there is this Michelin Guide scallion pancake that I tried to come to like last week, but it was a Wednesday and apparently it's closed on Wednesdays. It's open today, so I was like, oh, why don't I stop by and try this scallion pancake? Because you guys know I have my own favorite scallion pancake place that I've put in like five videos at this point. So I really wanted to try this one on the Michelin Guide to see if it compared. So I guess let's just go see if this one is as good or better. That other one is hard to beat, so let's go find out. So we just got our scallion pancake. This place, it was 30 for the original flavor. So I really didn't have room to like add any toppings in terms of price. But what's cool is that they do actually give you basil for free. And then they add their kind of like sweet and savory soy sauce. And then they also ask if you want spicy. And I said medium spicy. And she warned me that their spicy is pretty spicy. And I told her, I like spicy. So, did I overestimate myself or did she underestimate me? And then they also asked if I wanted this yellow looking sauce. It almost looks like mustard. It looks pretty promising. It looks pretty flaky. And the first thing I noticed that's different from my favorite place is that this guy is like very gently fluffing up the pancake. Whereas at my favorite place, they're like aggressively going at it like So we'll see if the soft and gentle technique is better than the aggressive technique. Let's just go ahead and try it. Hmm. Oh, wow. It is like a mustard. When she said it was spicy, yeah. I'm definitely tasting it. It's kind of like that Thai chili spice, which I actually love. It's very, very spicy though. Like a little bit can go a long way. Mm. Wow. The addition of mustard is actually very interesting. I didn't think that it sounded good, but it's actually really good in this. Like whoever decided to put mustard on this green onion pancake, like you were onto something. This is really, really good. Mm. Oh, mm, mm, mm. Wow, I am impressed. This with the toppings, even though this is just original, it has so much flavor. I would definitely come here again. I do think the other place wins in terms of the pancake itself. Like if this had no toppings and the other one had no toppings and I ate both of them side by side, I'm 90% sure that I would pick the other one. But since this one has all those toppings for free as well, it adds so much flavor. The texture of that scallion pancake is super chewy and you got those crispy flakes on the outside. I'm thoroughly impressed. Okay, so now we are at this restaurant at the very end of the Orange Line, right outside the Nan Shijiao Station. So I actually found out about this place through my friend Sam and Winter at Third Culture Bakery. So shout out to you guys. Thanks for introducing me to this place. So this is a more recent discovery, but don't underestimate this dish. So here we have a small duck rice, and it's kind of like braised pork rice's poultry cousin. That's kind of how I like to think of it. This is kind of a lighter version. It's not as fatty and greasy. So they have some rice, then they top it with some peanuts as well as a pickled radish. And then they also pile on that duck. They also scoop some kind of sauce or gravy on it. I'm not really sure exactly what it is, but it makes the rice super, super flavorful. And if you get their small, it's 30 NT. Perfect for our budget. So let's go ahead and dig in. Okay, so we gotta make sure we get some duck and some rice for the perfect bite. Oh my goodness. That duck is so nicely savory and flavorful. It's about as tender as duck can get. It looks so simple, like this little bowl looks so humble. So you would have no idea that it packs so much flavor in there. Mmm, wow, 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 wow and that rice really soaks up all those juices. And that's why I love rice, because it's basically like a flavor sponge. Mm. Oh. Wow. This is really good. Mm. 
So overall, I think today we found some really nice gems for a dollar or less in Taipei. These are really, really tasty meals that you can get at such an affordable price. So I highly recommend you check them out. And I would love to hear in the comments below, what is the best thing you've ever eaten for one dollar or less? So yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you get notified when I upload. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you liked this video, I have a ton of Taipei videos. So I'm going to link my playlist below and also put some videos on the screen here for you to check out. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.